hello guys welcome back to my channel and today we'll be studying a different module plant physiology and development as you can see it's written and i first opted this module because it is a very very important unit from the perspective of his csi or ugc net and if you guys are thinking about leaving this topic or skipping this for another one please don't do it because it is a really important topic and it comes for a huge it has a huge weightage in terms of net exam um although we can't predict the exam paper anything can come from any of the part but this is a majorly important part if you guys are really willing to learn this and i'll be uh, posting each and every part of this plant physiology and development from the cycles um to how the water is absorbed and where how and the processes everything involved in plant physiology and development you just need to wait and uh, focus on the videos and just jot down the points that i've written because these are the only important points in these units that i'm telling you and if still there's something missing you feel if you, if you have any kind of doubt you can just comment down so today um we'll be starting with plant water relationship and what do you mean by plant water relationship uh, the relationship between the water and the plant that is how the water is being absorbed by the plant roots and plant is majorly divided into the stem part and the root part and the root is the major organ that absorbs water now the root is a complex structure it has a wide variety of cells and a wide variety of three different portions are there in which different kind of cells are there which helps in the absorption of water from the outer surface of the root to the inside of it okay so plant water relationship and uh, in this major important role is played by water because water has different means of getting into the roots by bulk flow by diffusion osmosis so we'll be discussing them uh, in future and now we'll be focusing on what water is and water uh, is 70% uh, water accounts for about 70% of the cell's weight as water is the most essential part of life and the most abundant substance in the living cell um water is a polar molecule because of a more amount of electronegativity and less amount of electropositivity so as because there are two h atoms and one oxygen atoms making the uh, atomic mass to be 18 daltons it is a polar molecule it is electrically neutral and has partially positive charges i've already told you electropositive and electronegative on each hydrogen atom and partial negative charge on oxygen तो उसकी वजह से उसको पोलर मॉलिक्यूल बोलते हैं नाउ हैविंग अ डाई इलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट इट डिजोल्व मोर सब्सटेंसेस देन एनी अदर लिक्विड डाई इलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट का मतलब क्या होता है इट इज़ द मेजर ऑफ द कैपेसिटी टू न्यूट्रलाइज द अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रिकल चार्जेस अब इस प्रॉपर्टी की वजह से जो होता है वाटर इज़ अ वेरी पावरफुल सॉलवेंट वाटर सब चीज़ों को डिजोल्व क्यों कर लेता है बिकॉज ऑफ द हाई डाई इलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्रॉपर्टी इट हैज़ अ वेरी पावरफुल इट एक्ट इज अ वेरी पावरफुल सॉलवेंट फॉर इलेक्ट्रोलाइज एंड पोलर मॉलिक्यूल जो शुगर्स कुछ भी डाल रहा हो वाटर कैन ईजिली डिजोल्व इट सो दीज आर सर्टन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ वाटर विच यू नीड टू नो एंड हाई स्पेसिफिक हीट hi what do you mean by specific heat first we should learn the basic definition the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of a unit mass of a substance by that is it is called as a specific heat water has high specific heat because of the arrangement of the molecules which allows h and o atoms to vibrate freely therefore they can by easily absorb large energy without much temperature rise and now that's the reason why plants can resist large fluctuations in temperature high heat of vaporization is also a property that is energy necessary to go from a liquid state to a gas state ab high heat of vaporization matlab jab water is a liquid state agar usko hame gaseous state mein convert karna hota hai to energy zyada require hoti hai example 586 calories are required to convert 1 gram of water at 20 degrees celsius to 1 gram of vapor water vapor at 20 degree celsius therefore evaporation from leaves cools the plant uh, the extensive hydrogen bonding also gives rise to the property called as cohesion and a further we'll be studying a theory called as cohesion tension theory uh, but for now we should focus on 
the extensive of hydrogen bonding gives rise to a property hydrogen bonding ki wajah se there is a property called as cohesion and this gives water high tensile strength high tensile strength means the ability to resist stretching without breaking easily stretch ho jata hai lekin tootta nahi hai all right so tensile strength means toote bina easily stretch ho jana up to a large distance cohesion among the molecules is called as surface tension now we'll be studying the major property of water going inside the roots through diffusion ya fir roots mein bina jaye jaise hum uh, if we take an example of raisin humne dekha hai raisin ko if we keep in water and if we give in high solute concentration then different different reactions takes place okay so we'll be studying them now diffusion is a process in which random movement of molecules from high concentration to an area of low concentration theek hai diffusion mein kya hota hai jaise ki मॉलिक्यूल्स हैं दर सर्टन मॉलिक्यूल्स सर्टन सब्सटेंस उनको अगर हम रखते हैं तो उनकी जो मूवमेंट होती है हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन वाले एरिया से जाती है लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन में दैट इज़ द मूव अलॉन्ग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट वेन वी आर यूजिंग द वर्ड दे मूव अलॉन्ग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट दो टाइप होते हैं या तो अलॉन्ग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट या अगेंस्ट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट बट इफ इट इज मूविंग अलॉन्ग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट दैट मीन्स द रैंडम मूवमेंट टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मॉलिक्यूल्स आर मूविंग अगेंस्ट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट देन वील से इट मूव फ्रॉम लो लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एरिया टू हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एरिया ओके एंड जो ये मूवमेंट हो रही होती है डिफ्यूजन की इट इज बाय देयर ओन काइनेटिक एनर्जी it is a spontaneous and a passive process this is the second point and uh, it also depends upon two factors first is the size of the molecules and obviously temperature and then the concentration gradient concentration gradient kyun high hai ya low hai aur agar zyada hai to zyada agar or against the concentration gradient hai to we have already told you low se high mein jayega agar uh, along the concentration gradient to high se low mein jayega okay the rate of diffusion of molecules down a concentration gradient is given by fick's law okay and fick's law kya hota hai j is equal to uh, minus d bracket delta c upon delta x where j is the flux per unit area d is defined as diffusion, uh, diffusion con- uh, coefficient and it's expressed in the form of concentration square per second and delta C is the difference in concentration between the two regions by a distance. It is called as delta x. Now osmosis. Osmosis. We have ne pehle pada hua hai. Osmosis me jo raisin wale experiment hota hai, wo basically it is for osmosis. It is also a passive transport. That is the solvent. Um, and water here moves through the semi-permeable membrane. क्योंकि रेजन जो हम लेते हैं रेजन की जो मेम्ब्रेन होती है वो एक्ट करती है एज अ सेमी परमिएबल मेम्ब्रेन सो इसमें भी हमने यही बोला है वाटर हेयर मूव्स थ्रू द सेमी परमिएबल मेम्ब्रेन फ्रॉम अ रीजन ऑफ हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सेमी परमिएबल मेम्ब्रेन जो होती है इट इज सेलेक्टिवली परमिएबल सेलेक्टिवली परमिएबल मीन्स इट अलाउज द एंट्री ऑफ सर्टन पार्टिकल्स एंड नॉट अलाउज द एंट्री ऑफ सर्टन पार्टिकल्स मतलब वो अपने हिसाब से सेलेक्ट करके कुछ कुछ को ट्रांसफर होने देता है कुछ कुछ को नहीं देता अगर हिंदी में समझाऊँ तो सेलेक्टिवली परमिएबल मतलब सेलेक्टिवली अपने हिसाब से लोगों को सेलेक्ट करता है और उस इट यू शुड कंसिडर इट एज अ गेट ठीक है सेलेक्टिवली परमिएबल मतलब एक गेट है गेट के थ्रू इंसानों को जाना है तो इंसान जो हो गए वो हमारे सॉल्वेंट हो गए तो उनको जब जाना है तो दे नीड टू दे नीड द परमिट टू गो इन साइड सो दैट इज वाई इट इज रेफर्ड एज परमिएबल सेलेक्टिवली परमिएबल दैट इज कुछ लोगों को जाने दिया जाता है कुछ लोगों को नहीं दिया जाता और राइट Uh, this allows the passage of solvent while restricting the movement of solutes. ठीक है सॉल्वेंट को जाने देता है और सॉल्यूट को नहीं जाने देता द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ प्लांट सेल इज सेलेक्टिवली परमिएबल नॉट सेमी परमिएबल बिकॉज दे अलाउ द मूवमेंट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट दैट इज वाटर एज वेल एज द सॉल्यूट्स अब तो देख लो दोनों केसेस में यही हुआ है हमने बोला है कि जो प्लांट 